This is every single pack of Pokemon cards ever made. It's taken me over six months and over $30,000 to collect every single pack, but I finally did it. And yes, that is a first edition base set blister pack, which is valued at over $7,000. I also want to thank you all for 1 million subscribers on the channel. And as a thank you, I want to announce the biggest giveaway I've ever done. To have a chance to be one of six lucky winners for over $2,000 of vintage packs, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, down below in the comment section, let me know what your all-time favorite set of Pokemon cards is. And so it begins. We're starting off with the Sword and Shield era with the newest set released, which is Pokemon Go. So we're going to just get this going here. I cannot tell you how excited I am. This is definitely, for sure, the biggest video that I have ever done on the channel. I just can't even believe this is happening right now. Every single set, just so you guys know, it's going to be every set in English um, that was released from the main series sets. So here we go. Chansey, Apom, Spinarak. So we're not doing like Japanese sets or, or any other languages or anything like that. Pikachu, Rare Candy, into a Charizard Hollow to start it off. That's a good sign. And then released just before Pokemon Go, we have Astral Radiance. So we're moving through. We're, we're just like, I just can't believe it is going to get absolutely crazy in here. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I guess I am. I mean, we hit a million subscribers. So again, thank you guys so much for making this possible. Scyther Eevee into a Regigigas regular hollow hit. Next up, we have Brilliant Stars. Let's see what we get out of this one. Pull rates are really nice on here. But honestly, I, I'm not even super worried about the pulls. It's literally just being able to do this, film this video, have this experience with you guys is something that I never imagined in a million years would happen. Tornadus. <laughs> like, yo, the packs are literally just getting older and older. Fusion Strike is up next. Now, I have super fond memories of pretty much every single set from the Sword and Shield era. I started the channel right before the Sword and Shield era started. So, like, once Sword and Shield base dropped, I just, I remember opening that up, man. It's just cool. Like, I, that's when everything kind of started here. Arcanine non hollow Next up, Celebrations. You guys probably already know this one. It's only got four booster or four cards in here, and we don't have to do the Patrick on this. Restoram Ho Ho, Lugia, we got the legendaries, and then a flying Pikachu V. And that's officially our first V card, but of course, we have up Evolving Skies. Another amazing set from the Sword and Shield era. Oh, this is crazy. I, you know, some of my favorite generations of Pokemon are definitely going to be the EX era. Like, to be able to open up every EX pack is just going to be so crazy. All the Wizard of the Coast stuff. I mean, everything. Seismitoad. Right, we got some chilling rain. We are just soaring through Sword and Shield era right now. We're going to go four on this one as well. I got to, like, I don't even know all the pack tricks on some of these things. So, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Blitzel. Deerling. Deli Bird, Larvesta, Doctor, and Surfetch. Moving back to Battle Styles now. This was one of those sets. You know, it's cool because we're also going to see, like, what everybody's kind of opinion is on a lot of these sets now. And then if you look back on this video, you might be like, wow, things have changed. Like, Battle Styles, for most people, is probably one of the least, like, sought-after sets from Sword and Shield era. I don't know if that'll change maybe one day. Slow, bro. Shining Fates up next. I do like this set. This is, I feel like this one's a little bit kind of flies under the radar. But yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe somebody went watching this video in like 20 years from now. Like, oh my God, you're opening up Battle Styles? <laughs> I don't know if that'll ever happen. But yeah, it probably, probably honestly will. Weasel, we got a Shiny and a Zarude. We're almost through the Sword Shield Hour. We have Vivid Voltage up next here. All right, I did see a green code card. So probably get an amazing rarity here for Lucky. Moo Moo, jeez, I said Moo Moo Milk. Uh, Riolu. No, no amazing rare. Yo, we're going all the way back to Champion's Path. I know it's like, that's pretty recent. You know, it's all relative. Obviously, we're going to be going way further back to the original base set. I can't believe we're opening up a first edition base set pack in this video. And it's in a blister. It's like, oh, it's it's crazy. Like, Swablu, Kakuna, Pokeball, Machop, and a Scent of Scorch classic. Classic Champion's Path. But up next, we have Darkness Ablaze. The final three from the Sword and Shield era. Then we're moving back to the sun and moon. We got fighting, carnivine, trap inch, panseer, wishy washy, heat ran into a wiggly tub. Nothing crazy yet, but that's fine. We'll save our luck for later generations. We got rebel clash, and then after rebel clash, we got sword and shield base, and then that's it. And we're moving back. Sun and moon, here we come. Chatat, skuntank, Clefairy. 
got a Voltorb. I gotta kind of pace myself a little bit here. Because... Uh, this is going to get crazy. Garbodor. And the final Sworded Shield set is going to be Sword Shield Base. We got the Snorlax on the front there. Let's end this with a bang because the best pull we had here was probably just the regular V card, honestly. So, let's see if we get one big pull out of here before we uh, switch up the generations. But, that, you know what? Again, it's fine. I'll save my luck for the older stuff. Snom. Upside down. Blipbug. Oh, the Rabidash. All right, so Cosmic Eclipse was the very last of the Sun and Moon era and probably one of the best, honestly, from that generation. So let's go through this one. All right, it's time to switch our luck up a little bit here. Fire, Herder, Apom, Onyx, Tepig, Sandshrew, Snorunt. We got a Grimer, Steelix, Hollow. All right, here we go. We got Hidden Fates. This is one of my favorite sets ever. Let's go. One, two, three, four. We got Fighting Energy, a Magmar. Cerulean City Gym. We got the Charmeleon. Coughing. Let's get one pack magic. Ekans, Cubone. Magikarp. Ralt Shiny. Into a Wiggly Tub GX. Yo, that's probably the best pack today so far. We're already back to Unified Minds. Okay, so. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, green white code card. Now we're starting to get tricky. Things are switching up a little bit. Code cards face the other way. It's a good sign though. Blues tactics, fracture, basculin, noibat, wimpod, slack off, reset stamp. Into a Dragonite GX. I'll take it. We're definitely having better luck here on the Sun and Moon era. Unbroken bonds. So a lot of tag team Pokemon opportunities here that you can get out of a lot of these sets from Sun and Moon. I mean, you just take two Pokemon. You make them on one card. That's the way to go. Spiro into a Mew regular hollow. It's kind of moving fast. We're on Detective Pikachu now. Uh, this is an interesting one. This is like, for some reason, these packs are pretty valuable. Uh, we got Magikarp, Charmander, and then an Arcanine hollow. Team up uh, might be the most valuable set from the Sun and Moon era because the print run got cut short on this set. Oh, there we go. Green and white code card. And there's like, there's just, it's really hard to find. Like, booster boxes are crazy valuable. We got Golduck, Grass Memory, Kakuna, Grimer, Ponyta, Mareep, Charmander, Dangerous Trill, into a Lycanroc, regular GX. All right, Lost Thunder is up next. We are moving. We still have probably about half of this generation left, but once we're done with this gen, we're moving back to X and Y. Silcoon. Chikorita, Natsu, Houndor, Diglett, Strike Oh, a reverse. Oh, that's solid. Into Professor Elm's Lecture 4. Oh, my God, dude. That is sick. That is such a good pull to get. Oh, my God, dude. That is crazy. Yo, I didn't even. I'm not. I never pulled this before. And this ho oh, I'm just realizing, was a reprint from Neo Revelation. Definitely the best pull so far, but we have Dragon Majesty up next. Um, another one of those special sets that's pretty tough to find. Honestly, anything here on out is pretty... It, it's starting to get tough to get this stuff. So, yeah. I mean, just sourcing all these was was uh, quite the adventure. I will say that. Dragonair. Uh, just like so many different things and, and places to look. Whooper Reverse. I'll tear you GX. Oh, we are crushing it on Sun and Moon right now. Celestial Storm coming up next here. Still in the Sun and Moon era. That's uh, a pretty, pretty big um, amount of sets here from the most recent generations, I feel like. Um, the last three, especially. But then it starts getting less and less. Mudkip, Ratata, Surskit, Slugma. Oh, it evolved. We're bidding light. Still in the sun and moon era. We're getting closer. Oh, that's not a good sign. So now we're at the point where, like, code cards are just facing all different directions. I don't know. Sometimes they face, yeah, you know what I mean. Gumi. I do a different version of Gumi. Okay. Different artworks. That's fine. Pancham. Noivern. Oh, we're at Ultra Prism. Okay. This was actually reprinted at one point. Very small reprint. I remember everybody freaking out about this set. Being like, oh my god, they reprinted Ultra Prism. The prices are going to crash. It's a good set. Uh, it has the most valuable for our trainer that you could ever pull is in this set. Lily. Lick it in, lick it. And then moving into a set that's not as popular. It's Crimson Invasion. Sun and Moon. Uh, for whatever reason, this set did not really take off as good as some of the other sets. But it's fine. You know, you have generations with some, some of the best sets. And then sometimes they have some of the worst sets or the least popular. Guzzlord G. Oh, it's not. 
That is the coolest colors, I feel like. The yellow and the black and red and stuff. All right, we got Shining Legends. Now, this is one of those sets that was very popular. Pull Shining Mew out of here. Um, honestly, it's kind of like a throwback to Neo Destiny. The shinies that you can pull in here looks pretty, pretty identical. And, uh, yeah, definitely one of the top tier sets, I feel like, from this generation. Floatzel, Stumpfist, Bulbasaur. Decent pull right too, on this. Breloom. And a Shaman Reverse into a Keldeo regular hollow. Final three from Sun and Moon. We have Burning Shadows. Rainbow Charizard was introduced and it, everybody went crazy. Um, but this set, the print quality is not too great usually. This actually, these cards don't look bad, but I've seen way worse. So we could possibly, maybe, maybe get a Rainbow Charizard. Not happen. Guardians Rising, second to last set. Then we're moving back to X and Y, baby. Come on, let's go. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button. It will help out a ton to make all this stuff possible. Um, whoa, okay. Uh, oh, okay, they're two different. I thought it was the same for a second. Fletchling, Litwick. We got Pancham, Vulpix. It's a Whale Lord. And the final set is the first ever from Sun and Moon. It's Sun and Moon base set. Here we go. We are ending out Sun and Moon. I'm pretty happy with the pulls that we got, honestly. I feel like we got a lot of stuff. Professor, the Professor Elm, though, that, that has been the highlight pull so far. Best of the video right now, but I'm sure that's going to change drastically. We got Golbat into a Golduck. We're officially at the X and Y era, starting with the last set release and its evolutions. You guys probably already know this set. It's actually one of the most popular sets uh, because it's almost like a reprint of base set um, in a way. Now, we're going to do three from the back here. Kakuna. But they updated the stats and everything on, and all the different stuff on the cards. So they're not exactly the same. Pikachu, Tangela Reverse, and it would Doug Trio. And then one of the least popular sets is going to be Steam Siege from the X and Y era as well. So kind of like with Steam Siege and everybody was like, oh, we don't like this set. And then Evolutions came out and uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to go three on that one. And yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to in the X and Y era. We got Flash Fire, of course, Ancient Origins, um... Man of Horses, got Ponyta here. Krogunk Reverse, pretty cool. And an Infernape Hollow, that's actually pretty sick. Still moving backwards, we have Fates Collide here. Also, another set that I enjoy, but I don't like the green code cards. Although there is a point here where it's actually gonna change uh, over and they're not gonna mean anything. So the green code card just won't mean anything. You can still get hits in them. Spoink, I don't know exactly when that started. Solosis, Wismer. Carbink non home. All right, Generations. This actually was the set that got me back into like modern Pokemon cards. Uh, I was still collecting a bunch, doing old school stuff, but Generations, I don't know, it just got me back in. Uh, there's no good cards on this one. Machoke, I forgot. So we'll just do two more to the front. Uh, this is a cool set. There's a Radiant Collection subset in here. I mean, it's cool. Pokemon Fan Club, Clefairy, got Meowth, Rhyhorn, Ponyta, and. Oh, we got a Floet from the Radiant Collection, and then a Pinsir non holo All right, we got Breakpoint up next, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many cool sets. Again, guys, make sure uh, to let me know some of your favorites down below in the comments section. We got three from the back and the front here. Be from Energy, any generation, doesn't matter. I like that pseudo Wudo. All right, ready? The All Night Party with Umbreon. I always thought that card was cool for just a regular supporter card. Ratata, C dot. Oh, Lily Gant, regular non hollow. And now we have Breakthrough. Be cool to get a Mewtwo out of here. So, the luck so far on X and Y hasn't been the craziest, but I, I, like, I'll save all the luck for, for once we get into the really, really craziness, which is happening very soon. We got two different chessmen artworks there. We got a Magneton Reverse, and we got a Mamo Swine, regular hollow. Switching it up a little bit here, we actually have a Sleeved Pack. So, I do have Sleep Packs for some of these. I have actually blister packs for some of the other ones as well so uh, especially once you get to the older ones so it's always good to grab stuff if you can if it's like a sleeve pack or like a blister pack or something like that um just makes it that much more unlikely to be weighed porygon 2 baltoy we got ralts persian spinner rack reverse nah it's not a ditto they didn't have that yet oh and then we had a gold orc non-hollow and actually another sleeved pack roaring skies i don't know coincidentally it was for both of those in a row. So, Roaring Skies, another cool set here. Um, yeah, we're getting closer to the end of the X and Y era. We're not quite there yet. Green and white code card. I don't know if that means anything. Could. Maybe. Dust Talks. Swablu. Some good memories with these sets, though. Tallow. 
Electric. Reverse. Do a toga kiss. Hollow hit. Nice. Double crisis. So this is another one of those sets that's super hard to find because it was a special set. Whenever they have special sets, they're usually pretty expensive and they're usually pretty hard to find. I don't know if there's a pack trick to this. Um, I'll just do like two from the back. I, feel, I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, these are cool. Magma pointer. So this is a really small set. Team Aqua Grunt. But there are a couple of full art cards that are really nice. Pucciana. Carvana. Bow Toy. That looks so cool. Team Magma. Oh, we got a Zangoose. Team Magma Reverse. And into the Team Magma's Camera Up Hollow. We got another Kyogre artwork with Primal Clash. Guys, we are getting down to the very end of the X and Y era. And then once we get through this era, I think we're pretty much getting into Vintage Pack territory. Silent Lab. Round on Spirit Link. Nidorina. Nidoran. Tangela. Are we ready? Torchic, Starter, Skitty, Reverse, into a Primal Groudon EX. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. That's good. That's good. You, we can finally see some of the EX style from X and Y. It took us long enough. Definitely the best pull so far from X and Y. But we got Phantom Forces. Guys, this is the set with the silver card. The only silver card that Pokemon ever did. Can we pull it today? Probably not. But I don't know. It's possible. Target Whistle. Trick Coin. Shauna. All right, ready. Let's just keep the luck flowing from X and Y before we end this and move into the next generation. We got Chandelure Reverse. Very nice. It's actually Rare Reverse. And a Mighty and a Nana. We're on the final three from the X and Y. We have Fury's Fist. This one is actually really expensive. So all these ones uh, here on out are really expensive now that I think about it. Phantom Forces boxes. Really expensive. Flash Fire. This set, uh, X and Y base too. Uh, this is some of the best sets, some of the most expensive ones. Some of the most sought after. Bellsprout, Drowsy juggling some rocks, Noibat, and a non hollow. All right, this is probably the number one set from X and Y. It's Flash Fire, and I have it in a sleeved blister pack. So, man, these are so nice. I don't even, it's like just ripping those open. I don't know. Oh, and we got the Mega Charizard on here. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's see if we get a secret rare. So. Code card out. We're actually going to be not seeing code cards. Uh, well, black and white error is next. They, they had code cards there, but after that, they're going to be gone. So no more code cards. Flabebe. Phoebus. Fletchling. Right, Stunky. Shinx reverse. Very cool. Pidgeot not hollow. But the last set from X and Y, or the first from the generation, is going to be X and Y base set. Also have that in a sleeve booster pack here. So, the first ever. Full art EXs for Blastoise and Venusaur are in this set. That would be crazy to pull. Okay. Oh, my God. Guys, we have so much craziness coming up. <sighs> Here we go. This is, like, probably, like, the final sort of pack, I feel like, from the modern. Then we start really moving into, like, some of that vintage stuff. Weedle. Oh, man. Timber again, but reverse. Into a go-go. Hollow hit. It is time to get hyped because we are on the black and white era. The last set from that generation is Legendary Treasures. And uh, just so you guys know, this set is probably one of the best from this generation. It definitely has the best pull rates because sometimes you can get like four crazy hits. Like I'm talking about like bang, bang, bang. Just like so much stuff. I probably shouldn't have done that. But oh, there we go. We already start off with a Radiant Collection Snivy. But it can get crazy and get very crazy very quickly here. Charmanners, crazy cool artwork. Um, all right. Solosis. Samurut reverse. Tangrowth, non hollow, but we can still get something. An Eevee Radiant Collection card. Let's go, baby. Starting off strong with the black and white era, I gotta say. That is amazing. Oh, I love that card. Massive hit to start off, but we're moving into Plasma Blast next here. So we're gonna get into like the Plasma era. There's a bunch of them. There's some really, really crazy ones. Honestly, I feel like black and white era got better as this generation got a little older. Team Plasma uh, cards are in here too. But I feel like it got better, like Surskit. This is when they were trying to figure out like pull rates and stuff like that and like full arts and all this stuff and like they were tweaking it throughout the generation. Ooh, that's a nice team plasma reverse. I love the blue borders on those. And into a Genesect EX full art! Let's freaking go, baby! No way! Oh my god! Yo, look at this, look at this, look at this! Black and white era is starting off with some insane hits! 
This is a full art Genesect. Oh my god, that is actually sick. And it's a Team Plasma card. Oh my god. Okay, Plasma Free. <laughs> what is happening right now? I'm telling you, we're saving all the luck for black and white and older right now. That's perfect. Um, first two packs. Insane. Can we just keep it going? Grow vile. Grimer. I think I'm losing my voice today. Rat to tat. We're not even... We're like... Oh, we're just, Starly. Oh, Reshiram Reverse. Yo, that is sick. And into a Nido King non hollow. And another one of the best sets from the black and white era is Plasma Storm with the secret rares. The secret rare Charizard and the secret rare Blastoise. I always wanted to pull one of those. Please make it happen today, maybe. Today would be a good, I can't think of any other day that would be a good day to pull up besides today. Team Plasma Grunt. We got Aether. Turtwig. Magnemite. Make it happen. Chimchar. Riolu. And it's a, a Watch Hog. Regular non hollow. That's fine because we have boundaries crossed up next. And the black and white era isn't it's not a huge um, amount of different sets. I mean it's a decent amount, but it's not it's it's not crazy. So um, we're gonna be moving into the next generation pretty soon. Great ball. So I got plenty of cool sets to go though. Tep Pig, Patch Rat, Squirtle. Oh, Ace Mech Trainer card. No way. These are so hard to pull. It's like maybe one or two a booster box. Computer search. These are like incredibly powerful item cards. And into a Whimsicott. The luck right now is insane. Oh, these look so cool as well. I'm so happy to pull one of these. See what I tell you, our luck is picking up once we get to the older generations. We got Dragon Bolt next, which uh, I'm going to be honest, I've never opened this up before. Open the vault and let loose the Dragon Pokemon. This is going to be cool. I think this is like a $100 pack. It's it's a set that's like just so hard to find. And uh, yeah, 2012 on this one, so... Let's open it up. Oh my god, that looks insane already. I have no idea what's happening in this set, but it is a Dragon Vault, and it, uh, the set's really small. I see two out of 20 on the bottom. Dude, that looks crazy cool. Oh my god, what? That's your teeny with the rainbow background? Oh my god, no wonder this set is expensive. Right? what? Is every card going to be a black and white hollow? Oh my god, don't tell me. Hoxerus, dude, these are nuts. No wonder. Oh my god, what is happening, Latios? Dude, that is ridiculous. Up next, Dragon's oh. Exalted. I am just amazed at how crazy lucky we are right now with the black and white air. Um, so cool to see all these hits. But again, remember what I said? It gets tougher as you get to the older black and white generation. So, like, I, I feel like, I don't know. Can we continue this or is it going to get tougher? Cubone, Rufflet, Wurmple, Drifloon. All right, we got a reverse. Oh my god, what is happening? I can't take it anymore. Let me even just show you the card. I mean, I at least got to show you with the Registeel EX full art. Bro, what is happening? This is so sick. What is going on? Like, oh my god. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Like, we had not the greatest luck from the earlier generations. But right now, we are just destroying, like, absolutely destroying it. We got Dark Explorers, and it's in a blister. It looks so nice. Like, look at this thing. Okay, now this is like when the adrenaline's hitting. This is when I'm getting super hyped. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty, like, nervous right now. Uh, just as we get older and I know we're not I, I just can't see this ever happening again Like this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing again. So happy to be able to, to experience this with you guys on the channel here like oh Yeah, my adrenaline is, is starting to pick up right now. It is starting to get wild. Okay, here we go um, We still have code cards and they're really cool looking by the way just three from the back um, This is another set dark explorers that barely have opened up before because it's just so hard to get your hands on it. Jolteon, but well, we got him. We got everyone. Dark Claw, Larvesta, Plusle. Can we get the mining to go with it? Maybe. We got Chansey. Oh, that's a cool. Ch Everything's cool now. Everything's cool. Scraggy Reverse, Galvantula, non hollow. Next, Destinies oh. is up next. This is going to be good. I feel it. I feel like this is going to be a good one. Man, so, I has so many full arts have been pulled uh, from black and white. It's actually ridiculous. Stormy, look at that card. All right, we got a giant hippo. Raichu. Krikatot. Raltz. Meowth. Blitzel. All right, ready? Pansage. Simbasir Reverse. That's a nice one, by the way. Amoongus. Don Hollow. These are the final three from the black and white era. We have noble victories up next here. Okay. We're really going back. We're, we're about to be uh, getting rid of the code cards. So if you guys like code cards, they're about to be gone. 
Krusty Crustle. Oh my god, Fracture. Girder. Let's go, baby. I'm pumped for this. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's about to get absolutely crazy. Even crazier. Archon. Into a Terrakion, regular hollow. And I still have more blisters. Black and white emerging powers up next here. Never opened up a blister this. It's so nice. We gotta open it. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, this, oh, it's always like the toughest to, to open up these. Oh my god, this is actually really difficult to open up. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, uh, because you just have to like destroy it. It's like when I open up a pack, I like to, I keep the, the pack preserved a little bit. I open it you know, like that, and it, it keeps it nice on the front. When you open up a, a, a blister, you gotta destroy that thing to get it open. All right, here we go. Code card. Second to last set from Black and White Era. And then we're moving back super, super old school. Like the official super, super old school is gonna begin here in like just a second. All right, Sand Dial. Watch her. Swoobat. Here we go, Black and White base set. The first ever set from the Black and White Era. And sometimes with these ones, the code card's not even on the back. Sometimes they put it in and like ran a spot. We're gonna see on this one. But yeah, we're about to get crazy in here. If it already hasn't been crazy enough. Um, there, see, that's what I'm saying. Um, there it is. It's so weird. So we'll do three to the front. Then we'll get this code card out that's just randomly in the middle. And then we're just gonna go. So there's only a couple of big hitters in this. Um, it's it's the, the, the full arts. The first ever full arts, I gotta say, actually, in here. Um, as well as the secret of Pikachu. So if you get any of those three, I would say that's a big win. A huge win. Almost as good as you could pretty much do. Samurai reverse, though. And a swan a non hollow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially in the super old school era with Call of Legends. Now, if you don't know about this set, it's insane because almost every card out of here is like a banger, even the non hollows. And there's probably the biggest selection of shinies um, out of any old school vintage set that you could have. I think there's like something like 12 or more. But this is actually the only set from the Call of Legends generation. It's literally just Call of Legends. Okay, so no code cards. I gotta remember now, we're getting kind of tricky. So we're just gonna do probably just three from the back here. And let's go. Starting off with a Darkness Energy. Got the really cool borders on here as well. Pidgeotto, like look at that artwork. We're gonna start taking our time a little bit more on some of these. Copycat. We got Cyndaquil. Just start a little, little fire, you know, nothing too crazy. We got Snubble. Pidgey as well, same sort of style artwork like the Pidgeotto. We got Slowpoke, my guy is stuck down in the sewer somewhere, lost. Mistrevious. Snobble Reverse, and then the rare is a Ninetales Hollow hit. Let's go, man. That is such a cool artwork. This is Heart Gold Soul Silver. It's the last set in the generation. There's only four sets, but it's an amazing gen because it's a throwback to Gen 2. Um, I'm excited. I mean, this is like where it's at right now. We had a huge hit on our Call of Legends pack. Let's just keep that going through all these old school generations. There's no more code cards, so we're going to go three. Let's go. Let's go. Love Gen 2. All right. We have Seeker. That is such a cool card. You got Mew in the background on that thing. Twins. Like, even the non hollows now are crazy cool. Marowak. Bellsprout. Come on. Volbeat. Cricketot. Buddha to reverse. Nido Queen. Nice rare reverse. Okay. Ready? Oh, Dragonite. It's a non hollow, but man, that's a nice non hollow. All right. We have Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Undaunted next. This is definitely one of my favorite generations. It's, it's small gen, you know, of. of uh, packs because there's only four different um sets but like man it just hits got a lot of gen one in here a lot of gen two that's some of my favorites got team rockets trickery there even just like look at that it's so cool so cool oh man look at that flareon hitmonchan punching away got combi eevee togepi bro togepi is literally lost pikachu oh i said like that uh stunky and a Miss May just non hollow. Alright, check this out. Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. It's in a blister and everything. It looks nice, but I gotta open it. Oh man, Entei on the top, Suicune on the pack artwork. These are cool. You know, they have like the sleeve packs nowadays, but the blister is where it's at. I mean, those are just really, really nice. So, ready? Suicune. Heart Gold Soul Silver. You can get, I mean, prime cards in these. You can get legend cards. It's crazy. The porridge are actually really good from um, Harkle Soul Silver. So I got a feeling we'll get some really good stuff. Maybe on this one. Maybe on the last. Even on the last one, hopefully. Rare Candy. Carnivine. Stadler. Oh my god. Come on. I'm so excited. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so excited. Larvitar. Uh. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Let's make it go, man. No. Is this the biggest pull so far? I gotta put it in sleep. Oh my god, Entei and Raikou Legend card, top half. This is what it's all about, man. Oh my god, we actually got something insane. Whew. Okay, 
Harkold Soul Silver base set, the last set from Harkold Soul Silver era. There's only four, but it, man, I told you it packed. That is literally just one pull out of all these sets. There's so many crazy cards. Um, base set is definitely, I feel like, the toughest to find from Harkold Soul Silver. Um, sometimes you'll, it'll be like base set on on some generations is the easiest, but this is probably the toughest or one of the toughest. Professor Oak's new theory to start off, dude. Classic right there. We got Oak, we got Don Fan, got some Gen 2 stuff, Unknown, Centret. We got Cyndaquil, Meryl. Look at the Wooper. Growlithe, Fisherman, uh, Reverse with Magikarp and Wooper there. Got the double whammy into a Ladeon non hollow. I actually really like this card. That's pretty awesome. Time to go back to the Platinum Era with Platinum Arceus. So this right here is going to be awesome. There's only four different sets from the Platinum Era. But I mean, pretty much everything is going to be awesome here on out. Even from before, obviously. But really just gets crazier and crazier. So um, we're going to do the pack trick. And we're going to just... Uh, we're going to hope for the best here. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay. We got a Shell Gun. Ponyta. Gulpin. I have a crazy idea, too. Do you guys think that I should grade every single card that I pull? Or not every single card, but, like, all the big hits and all the cool stuff that I, I kind of like from all these um, packs and do, like, um, a big PSA cards returns or whatever grading service I go with, like a returns video um, as, like, a follow-up? I think that would be pretty sick. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, I'm curious. Tangula. I think it's awesome. Oh my god, there we go! This is it. I gotta keep it on the camera. I gotta keep it on the camera because there could be something else back there. But this is the subset. The RC is subset. Bro, we got one of them. Um, That's AR2. Okay, can we get a double banger right here? Give me a double banger. Oh, Pichu. Okay, so the rest of the packs from this generation I actually all have in blisters. There's three more, but this is Platinum Supreme Victors. Level X Charizard, Level X Rayquaza. This is... Uh, Man, just, ah, this is so much good stuff. There's really so much good stuff we could pull out of these. So we're going to get that out of the way. We got Absol in the front here. www.go-pokemon.com. Pokemon Go is a different meaning nowadays, obviously. There you go. Man, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. I continue to keep looking to make sure I'm recording. I'm not going to lie because I'm just totally freaked out about that. We got Arcanine. I'm freaked out about a lot of stuff right now. Matang, Charim, Weasel. Just the hits keep flowing. Cherubi. Metacham Reverse Rare. And into a Sableye non hollow. Rising Rivals is up next. I remember one time I was buy I was able to buy a case of these randomly off of a website. It was like a literally just a whole case of them. Um, this isn't from that. I wish I still had that because that was crazy. But uh, yeah, I got Rising Rivals though. One single pack in a blister. All right, here we go. It's always nice. If you buy stuff loose, it's probably best to buy it from blisters and sleeved packs if you can. That's probably the best way to go. If possible. Bebe search. Leafy on. Alright, come on. Growlithe. The luck has been ridiculous ever since black and white era. It's been nuts. Shallows. Munchlax. We got the baby Snorlax. Miss Magus. Rare reverse yet again. Um, and then into a frostless hollow hit. No way. This is the last pack from the Platinum Era. It's the last set, and uh, it's Platinum Base. And man, that looks good, but we got to rip it open. Oh, that looks good. Man, the Giratina. Oh, Ooh. this looks good. This looks good. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm all shaming. Barely opened this set up before, honestly. Barely opened this set up before. Just, just crazy right now. Again, like this is like just I'm, I'll never be able to do this again. We'll never like this is it. This is oh, this is this is our big moment. <laughs> All right, here we go. Energy game. Probably think I'm crazy. Pokedex. Um, I'm trying to keep my I'm trying to keep my composure right now, but like yo, I'm freaking out on the inside. Uchiana. I think I'm gonna get hit by something. I don't know. Chansey. Nose pass. Dun sparse. Happy reverse. Give me a little hospitality with a big hit. Oh my god, are you actually serious right now? Oh my god! Oh my god, yo, no! No, do you know what this is? I've always wanted to pull one of these. This is a secret rare. It's literally a base set card. Dude, they made this card in this set as a secret freaking rare. So up next, I have the Pop series, which was released between the years 2004 to 2009. I thought I'd open up all these together. It's not really a main series set, but it's gonna be freaking cool. I mean, there's so much cool stuff you can get out of these. Things. So we'll start with nine and work our way back. All right, here we go. Pop series nine. So these are like promo packs that you would get. Um, various ways to tournaments, stuff like that. 
pretty tough to get. I mean, there's actually one of the Pop Series packs I think is worth like over $500. It's crazy. I don't know if there's any pack tricks to these things, so I'll just go straight through them. Fighting Energy, we got a Turtwig, and we got a Give. Right, we got Pop Series 8 up next. So just so you guys know, Pop Series 5, um, you could pull the Gold Star Umbreon, which literally is one of the most valuable Pokemon cards like ever made. It's in celebrations now, but the original one is crazy. Happeny into a Krogon. But I'm not sure about that. But anyway, we have Pop Series 7 next. I'm like freaking out about opening up the Pop Series 5 especially because uh, it could just be so crazy. Look at this. We got Mareep, Ralts, and that's it. A lot of these are only two. Oh, my God. Okay, Pop Series 6 next. All right, let's see if we get some of the starters out of here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We got... Or two hits. But here we go. Oh my god, this is Pop Series 5. I actually didn't even realize how crazy this set is besides just the Gold Star Umbreon. There's a really nice Ho-Ho, Lugia Hollows, Mew Delta species. This thing is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Never opened up one of these before. Ever. Ever. Oh my god. Okay. Man, it's just like, I don't know if it's going to be on the front, it's supposed to be on the back. I have no idea. Here we go. We got Zangoose Delta species. And a Pikachu non-hollow. That one definitely hurt a little bit, but we got Pop Series 4 with Deoxys on the front. These are just getting older and older now. Okay. Here we go. Man, it's just like two cards. That's it. You got two cards. Mudkip, which is cool. And a Trico. Literally, Delta Species cards are in here. These are still really nice. Pop Series 3. You can get a Ho-Oh EX out of here. There's also a Pichu Bros cards, which looks cool. There's a Flareon Jolteon cards. Um, man, can we get, can we at least get, like, one cool hollow out of some of these pop series? Got Blastoise on the front, though. Um, non-hollow, non-hollow. Okay. Very cool, though. Hey, we got the Pichu bros! What's up, bros? Celebi EX. Could be pulled out of here. We also got some Bulbasaur bros as well. Alright. Some other cool stuff. Venusaur's in here. Ooh, Catnia. Okay. Okay, okay, ready, ready, ready. Catnia! And a love disc, non hollow. Pop Series 1, the last one here. Maybe we could get a Tyranitar EX. We haven't had the best luck, but these are tough. I mean, these are really tough Pop Series. I thought I'd just open them up either way. Because um, I've never opened up pretty much any of them. I think only like one or two different versions. We got a Surskit. And it will mine in non hollow. All right, we are officially at the Diamond and Pearl era. This is all the way back in the year 2008. Storefront is sick. All these sets are crazy cool. It doesn't even, like, even if you just get a hollow out of these, it can be crazy. But this is Stormfront. Um, if I could pick, this is probably a top two or top three set for me from Dino Pearl. I mean, it's just so good. Secret Rare Charizard could be pulled out of here as well. as like a ton of other stuff. We got Machoke, Dusclops. We got Pokedrawer Plus. Mistrevis, Larvitar, Onyx, Rosalia, Electrode Rare Reverse. Into the Charmeleon Secret Rare! What is going on? How is this? One pack! What kind of luck is this opening? I don't like, I didn't even, I just like, one loose pack with a secret rare. These, the, the, the odds to pull this card, or just a secret rare in general from this, is one in two booster boxes. This is insane. That looks so sick. Man, that's like a, that's just a Gen 1 throwback right there. The OG artworks remade. We gotta keep going. Legends Awakened is up next. Um, actually, there's some Diamond and Pearl sets that I don't even think I've ever even opened up before. This might be one of them. I feel like I, I, don't, I can't remember. Honestly, there's gotta be at least two or three, I feel like, from Diamond and Pearl that I've never opened before. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, this is really hard. It's, it's really hard to find these. Marowak, Drifloom, Ladeon. We got Claw Fossil. Ladybug. Dude, look at these artworks. Meowth. That's like the cutest Meowth. Gliger. Gloom Reverse. Into a Reg Ice non hollow. Majestic Dawn up next. Oh, man. Gotta take it in. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just trying to just take it all in, you know, one pack at a time. Hopefully I'm going at a decent pace for you guys while also being able to appreciate all the artworks, all the cool packs, all the Pokemon. Man, this is just it right here. Monferno. This is an experience. Duskball. Lickitung. Man. Drifloon. That is a really... That's probably one of the coolest Kabuto artworks. Spiro. That's sick too. Hiplop. Man, I don't think I've ever opened this set up before either. Kangaskhan. Reverse. Uncommon. Into a mine in non hollow. Rain encounters up next right now, man. This is just. <sighs> okay. 
it's, it's like getting very serious because after this generation, we're moving into the EX era. And I'm going to tell you this, out of any generation, I think the EX era is the one I'm most looking forward to. Hariyama, Porygon 2, Huntail, Wizmer, Phoebus, we got Traco, Lunatone, I got, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, if I could talk, Togepi, Grovile Reverse, Latias, non hollow Secret Wonders, fun fact, this was the last set that I needed, or the last booster box I needed for my complete um, booster box collection, which I have not even showed you guys, yet. I should probably show you guys, but Secret Wonders was the last one, so this is a really, I'm gonna tell you, this is a really hard set to find, loose packs, you know, they're tough to find, but a sealed box is like, seriously, it's so hard to find. Nidorino, it took me so many years to get one. Lombre, Darkness Energy, Venonat. Now that I think about it, I'm, I, maybe I opened up one pack of this before. Dude, look at that Rattata! It looks super realistic for some reason. Shop it. Shelter, Potion, Corsola Reverse. I feel like every card now just hits. Arcanine, oh, another non-hollow. I briefly forgot we saw the first edition base set blister pack to open up that on my heart. I, I don't even know if I can handle this. These are the final two Diamond and Pearl sets. We start off with a bang, like a huge hit with the Charmeleon Cigarette. Um, kind of not doing the greatest, but again, this is literally just the experience for, for me right now. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, ooh, that card definitely does not look too good there. Luckily, that's not the rare. Celio, Tropius. But yeah, the final two, Diamond and Pearl, and then we're, we're, we're moving into EX. I can't believe I'm saying that. Zubat, Magikarp. That almost looks like it could be a little, like a shiny, sort of, a little bit. Sancho Reverse. Oh, the multi-energy, the worst rare of the day. I'm just going to say it. Here we go. The final set, Diamond and Pearl base set. And then we're moving, oh my god, we're moving into EX era. I need to contain myself right now. We are moving into EX era. Do you guys know what that means? We're, we're going gold star hunting so many times. We're going gold star hunting for so many, so many packs. We have Pokeball. Oh my god, a baby Pokemon. Haunter, that is sick. Meryl. Roselia. Let's see if we can end Diamond Pearl with something. Ponyta, Switch. Oh my god, Azuro, more baby Pokemon. Duskull Reverse. That is really cool. Nightshade. Oh, non hollow. I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but I have the entire EX era. All 16 sets. I just want to show you guys all these really quickly. It's like, just have them all here. We're going to go through all these. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. We're officially going gold star hunting with EX Power Keepers. The Evolutions, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon. So many cool EX cards, guys. This is the start of the EX era. The start of the absolute craziness here. And I don't know the pack trick on these. It changes sometimes. So I'll probably just play it safe on EX and do two from the back. Uh, starting off with a great ball. Looks like we did it okay. Charmeleon. There we go. Man, look at that. That looks, this looks like old school. Scary face. That is a pretty scary face, though. Chinchow. Poochiana. I got to take this in. We off take this in. Vulpix. Shop it. This feels so surreal. Trap Inch. Got an energy reverse. That's pretty sick. Fighting energy. Okay. And into a Kabutops hollow hit. Nice start. Woo! This is a huge one. Dragon Frontiers. The potential for a Gold Star Charizard. Oh, my God. Or Gold Star Mew. That's cool, too. That's amazing, actually. Or any of the EX cards. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to compose myself right now, but I'm literally on the edge of my seat. Like, I'm shaking right now. This is insane. Bailey. Professor Elm's training method. We got Tallow. Marie. Oh. Larvitar. Ralts. Even the reverse could be going to shelter. I'll take I'll take it. Got the Dragon Frontier stamp. But what's behind it? Oh, not hollow, man. That's all right. Keep it moving. Next, we have EX Crystal Guardians. Some really cool Charizard in here. The Gold Star Celebi. We're still, still going for Gold Stars. EX cards, you name it. Okay. So, three from the back. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, man, the back on that one is actually really bad. That's really bad. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Come Buskin. Mysterious Shard. Got Lombre. Got Aaron. Mudkip. Duskull. Spiro. We got a Wismer. And we have a reverse, but where's the rare? Oh, I totally did the pack trick wrong on that one. Okay, 
The Combuskin is the uh, is the rare non hollow. All right, guys, I'm suspicious of this pack. I definitely bought this one loose. As you can see on the back there, we got some damage that does not really look like it's from the factory at all. That's some that's some actual edge wear. Card has like some see that some scratches on the back. I'm 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 sketched out by this pack. Even the hollow has some like little scratches that look a little too look much like it was like handled. All right, I do have another pack from the same seller, and uh, I'm just gonna look at this a little closer again because. You never know. I can't say for sure yet, but I definitely, that one definitely looked a little sketchy to me. The flaps are still down here, so we're just going to open this one up. We're going to do it again. You know, it was bound to happen probably on one or two of these packs because you can't get every single pack directly from a box, unfortunately. But, um, okay, let's see how we do here. So, we're going to hopefully get something better. So, we're going to do one, two. Nah, this doesn't look right to me. Guys, if you look at the back on this, it just looks so... Like, look at that. That is not normal. Okay, we'll go through the pack. We'll go through the pack. Crystal Shard is bound to happen. Catnia, Electric, Diglett, Spiro, Lotad. We got a Numal Reverse and a Grovile non-hollow. No way. That is not normal from a from a pack. Like, you don't get you don't get cards like this. This this card was handled outside of a pack at one point. So unfortunately, these are definitely not legit. All right, guys, it's fine. I always have a backup plan. This honestly was in my personal collection for um, many years, and I wasn't planning on opening it up at all, but this is for the video. I want to make sure I open up every single pack like I said I was going to do, um, and we're doing it. So this one's definitely legit. It's such a nice blister, but we're going to do it. Take one last look at this bad boy. That's amazing. Yep, this one you got to fully just kind of destroy. This is probably a really expensive pack in the blister, but that's fine. All right, here we go. A legit pack this time. Crystal Guardians. Alright. Looking good so far. So you gotta, you, yeah, you just gotta watch out for it. But here we go. We're gonna go, I think, just two from the back to the front. These look much better. These look much better. Like, perfect. That's what they're supposed to look like. I'm sure, you could have a little bit of something, but the type of wear that was was not, it was just handled, like, played and stuff. We got a Charmeleon Delta Species. We got Krabby. Wismer. Bulbasaur, come on, Spoink. Ooh, we got a reverse Wingle. Oh my God, it was worth it. The Swapper in the eye, baby. No way. Oh my God, that is beautiful. We came back stronger than ever, Boca Game. That's nuts. Look at this thing. Ooh, our first EX era. EX. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Nice. That is so so. That's so. That is such a like a comeback right there. Oh my god, that is sick. Up next, we have Holon Phantoms. Another Gold Star hunt is about to begin. Gold Star Gyarados, Mewtwo, and Pikachu. Can we pull that out of here? A bunch of other really nice EX cards. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites from the EX era. So yeah, we just gotta be super careful from here on out because of uh, you know the potential for scammers and stuff like that. I I tried to source every pack from legit um sellers and stuff like that but it's it's tough once you get to this level of rarity and stuff so i'm just gonna do two from the back and we're just gonna keep an eye out make sure everything looks all right from here on out but i think we're good i was bound to happen but i mean we made up for it more than more than made up for it combuskin rare candy we got a horsey delta species card pikachu mysterious fossil I mean, honestly we've been doing really good today um especially for this kind of a video manky aerodactyl that's just in a comment too. It looks so sick though. Oh my god, bro. Okay, Holland Phantom stamp and everything. Come on, let's crush it. Let's crush it. Oh, Bio Bloom Delta Species. Yo, we're on a roll, baby. Yo, we are on fire right now. Up next is Legend Maker, and check it out. There's an old school sticker on here for a price of $3.50 from a place called Card World. Um, definitely was not that price when I bought it. But yeah, there's gold stars in here as well. Red Ice, Red Rock, Red Steel, Secret Rare Pikachu. Or maybe that's a box topper. Or Secret Rare. I'm not sure. Um, but a Mew EX can be pulled out of here. A bunch of other EXs like Flygon. So yeah, we got to just pay attention here. Uh, I'm just going to do two from the back. These look fine. And we're going to go. We got React Energy, Dunsparce, Clam Pearl. Uh, we got Aaron eating the tracks. Tentacool, C-Dot, Shuppet, Tentacruel Reverse. That's sick. Oh my god, look at this. Dude, that is like the craziest pattern. And into a Gorbis non hollow. We're still going Gold Star hunting because we're looking for the Kyogre, the Metagross, and the Groudon Gold Star, as well as the EX Evolutions. This is EX Delta Species, guys. I told you I was the most excited uh, for this generation, this EX era. And um, 
I really like I just there's been so much craziness we're gonna do two from the back to the front here looks to be okay we got a Porygon 2 we got great ball coughing potion Toto dude that is a nice card Remoraid Poliwag look at that we got the whole family Wooper moving into a snow cloud gas form as our reverse did I mess up I did the Porygon 2 was the rare that's fine but yo check this out dude that is a rare reverse so our first rare reverse from the EX era check that out they actually have like the uh name is like hollow as well as the stamp and then the actual symbol on the bottom is a hollow as well it's okay we still have more gold star sets um unseen forces with the legendary dogs as well as some really really nice EX cards um I think like Celebi Typhlosion Tyranitar Let's go. All right. Unseen forces. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Uh, we're going to just do two from the back again. It looks okay. There's a little bit of whitening, but that seems to be normal. Crocodile. It's nothing too crazy like that. The one pack. Slugma. Chincho. Gliger. Remoraid. Even if we don't pull a, a gold star, it's fine. I mean, gold stars are so hard to pull, but it would be cool to pull one today. Oh, Cyclone Energy. Dude, that is so nice. Normally, I'm not into the, the energies, but this one is ridiculous. And... Oh, Sandler non-hollow. We got EX Emerald up next. And this one is one that doesn't have a gold star potential, but that's some really, like, just some really nice EX cards that you can pull out of here. Deoxys being one of them. Um, Reg Ice, Reg Rock, Reg Steel. So, that'll be cool. The Altaria looks insane. Um, yeah. All right. We're going to just do two just to play it safe. I don't know the exact pack trick on this, but... Okay, that's an uncommon Battle Frontier. Yo, that artwork looks beautiful. I might have to grade that one. And the Nine Tails. I'm really gonna have a hard time trying to figure out what to grade. Obviously, all the big hits, probably a lot of the reverses too. Some of the cards, just the, the, the artwork. Oh, dude, the septile! We got a fully evolved starter, and it's a rare. Same thing, man. You got that, oh, the, the hollow pattern all over it. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. That is like the definition of EX Emerald right there. And it's a Kyogre, not hollow. Here we go. I have an EX Deoxys booster pack. Probably the most expensive from the EX era. One of the most expensive booster packs of all time. Inside here, you could pull out, I'm going to say it's probably the second most valuable card you could ever pull from any booster pack. The Rayquaza Gold Star in a PSA 10. I don't even know the price of that thing. If we were to hit that card, I don't know what I'd do. Okay. This is really happening right now. Ugh. Oh, that looks kind of weird. I'm not fully confident in this one. Okay, I think it's all right. Mm. Top looks weird, guys. Look at that. See how the top looks right there? Look at that. That's, ah, oh, man. That doesn't look good. See the bottom? See how it doesn't have any residue? Top has a lot of residue. It looked like it'd been opened. Look at that. I'm not confident in this pack at all. Wow. That is unfortunate. Okay. Let me do the pack trick. Check out the cards. One, two. Okay. Let's just go through and see what happens. Soul Rock, Masquerine. I'm going to say that's probably was resealed. Wingle, Lotad, Natsu. We got Coughing, Shroomish, Swellow Reverse. Pretty nice. And into a Breloom Hollow? Maybe, you, I don't know, man. That was weird. We actually got two nice hits, though. Yep, that is without question a reseal. You guys can see all the glue on the top there, and then the bottom looks really clean. So they opened it up, checked it out, and then they just resealed it back up. That is 100% without question. Look at that, reseal. All right, so I figured it out. The person that I purchased the three Crystal Guardians from, the Deoxys pack were the same seller. So they're all resealed. But I also found this out as well. This was also on the order. This was the EX Delta Species. And then this one, as you can see, has the same thing as the Deoxys. This one's also resealed. All right, so I have another backup plan. It's something that I didn't want to open up, but I have no choice. It's a three-pack blister, and we literally just need the EX Delta Species booster back. So this one will definitely be legit because it's all sealed up and everything. And a quick update from the seller that I purchased from. He doesn't know it was me, so this is going to be a pretty big surprise because he's refusing to refund me in full. He's still selling packs as well. I'd put money on it. Those are all resealed, so just stay away from that. Honestly, there's probably like hundreds of people that are getting scammed on this, so I will have a follow-up video for this entire situation. All right, so I'm keeping my promise. Every pack is legit. We're going to crack this thing open. Let's just do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
All right. Oh, this is this is a big one to open up. All right. We get we get a pretty cool promo card, so I got to be careful. But that's that is the pack right there that we need. This is the pack we need. EX Delta Species. <laughs> we got this super old school coin of Pikachu. It doesn't even look like how Pikachu normally looks nowadays. This Venusaur looks amazing. It's It's got some weird stuff going on, but that's pretty sick. And then the good news is I also have two Holon Phantoms booster packs that are going to be completely unweighed. Whoa, what is this? Oh, okay. I guess that's normal. That's like, Is that how they did it back then? Just to prop the pack up a little bit? That's kind of crazy. All right. But yeah, these should be, everything should be good here. Um, two unweighed Holland Fantasy Packs, which I will save for a different video. That's going to be a ton of fun. All right, so let's try this again with a legit EX Delta Species booster pack here. Let's get this open, and uh, we have a shot at Gold Stars. We still have a shot. All right. I think we can do it. So, yeah, we open that up, and everything looks good. I mean, it's from a... That's about as safe as you can go for a pack. It's from a, especially a three-pack blister. I'm not going to do the pack trick. They're kind of weird. But let's start off here. We have Ralts. Holland's Magnemite. We got a Ditto, but it's a Geodude Ditto. We got Eevee. Poochiana. Let's see if we can get something crazy. We got a Sancher Reverse. Okay, pretty solid. A little too sunny for my for my guy Sancher. Moving into an Azumarill non hollow rare. I don't know if an EX, if we do get one, it could be the last card maybe. I'm hoping. We got Cash Swarm, normal version. Holland Trans C. That right? looks a little outdated. Oh, is that the last? That's the last one. Okay, nothing in there besides the reverse. No worries, though. I have another EX Deoxys pack. This is from a different seller. This one should be good to go. So let's give it another shot. All right. Man, yeah, it, it gets tough once you get into, like, this era specifically to find stuff. I think we're okay. That felt normal. Looks normal opening up. Um, the bottom feels all right. All right, let's go in. Let's hope this one's all right. I, I'm sorry about this, guys. You know, it gets tough when you get to this generation to find everything being legit. We got Strength Charm. Of course, it was all just that one person as of now anyway. Energy Charge. Shroomish, but we're not going to let you rain in our party. We got Coughing. We're going to see if we can get some big hits out of this one. Swablu. Poochiana. We got a Wurple. Nuzleaf Reverse. All right, very nice. We got an Uncommon Reverse. And it's, ooh, oh, it's Cash Non-Hollow. All right. Another one of my favorite sets from the EX era. We got Team Rocket Returns. Looking for those gold stars, baby. There's three different ones. And then there's the Snorlax EX in here. There's the Scyther EX, stuff like that. We're going to go through here, and we're going to just crush it. Come on. Let's get back on track. Like, we, we realistically, we've had some insane luck besides um, that scammer. But, like, literally, I feel like we've had some six really, really good luck um, overall. So we'll just keep it going. We got a Seedra. Dark Aridos. Sentrid. We got a Coughing. Magnemite. They got a grunt. Dude, that is like the creepiest Grimer, I feel like, of all time. Remoraid. Onyx Reverse. Not bad. All right. Come on. Can we follow it up? Can we follow it up? Lady on not hollow. We got Fire Red Leaf Green up next. So this was released when they redid uh, Pokemon Red, and then they did actually the green version as well, Leaf Green. So you can get the Charizard and Blastoise out of here, EX version. That would be insane. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Feeling pretty confident on, on pretty much all these other packs. Uh, yeah, I think it was literally just probably that's that one seller that just kind of whatever i'm not gonna talk about it anymore two from the back let's go ex era i'm enjoying this we're opening up every single pack here we got an ivysaur that's pretty sick wiggly tough 2004 in this and we got the bulbasaur all right um you know what there was not a venusaur ex in this set just charizard and blastoise unfortunate because we got the evolution line we got oh we got charmander though ghastly charmander potion we got nidoran we got a meowth reverse okay and a Hypno. That's a pretty creepy Hypno, but that's pretty cool. Up next is Hidden Legends, and there's a bunch of really cool EXs we can pull out of here as well. Kyogre Groudon, Regirog, Registeel, Regice. No gold stars, but it's fine. You know, it's still cool. Uh, even just the regular reverses are pretty sick from the EX era. So literally, I feel like every pack um, is still cool. You know what I mean? And all the normal artworks you get. Matang. Sensor cool. We got a Clam Pearl. We got Rhyhorn, Beldum, Togepi. Oddish coming up. Oh, wait, that is the reverse. I didn't even realize it. Okay. We got a regular Oddish reverse. It doesn't have, like, the little stamp, like, on some of the other ones, or a lot of the other sets. And we do get a hollow Milotic rare. Let's go, baby. Up next is Team Magma versus Team Aqua, and we are still looking for some really nice EX cards out of here and hollows and reverse hollows, honestly. No gold stars, though. I think we pretty much passed our opportunity on the gold stars, but look at that. This is the last from the E series of Pokemon cards, which is actually pretty sick. So we got a Mighty Enna. We got Team Magma Hideouts, Cubone, 
Oh, look at that Houndor, Team Magma. So you got either Team Aqua or Team Magma on these cards. We got Rhyhorn. Crazy. Um, we got Aaron. Oh, we got the Corefish and a Zangoose, non hollow. All right, I'm going for either the Dragonite or the Rayquaza EX. We got EX Dragon E Series. We are back in the E Series, baby. All right, so these are some of the final packs here from the EX era. And then we're going to move into the Wizards of the Coast era, which is the la literally the last era of Pokemon cards. We're just going to do two from the back to the front because I don't know. Oh, I messed it up. First time I actually messed it up bad. It's a Spoink Reverse. Okay. Um, let's keep going. We are gonna go to our. Oh, that's, that's the rare. There was that was. There's no pack trick on this one. Okay, Geo dude. That's fine. TV report. Oh my God! <laughs> no! No! It's because there was an ES. Yes! Yes! That is insane! Oh my God! Okay, yeah. So like the pack trick changes on some of these if you have the EX, and we did. That's why it messed up, bro. Oh my God! That's so good. Yo! Oh my god! Latius EX! I think this is definitely the biggest hit so far of the day. That is beyond gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this card. Alright, up next! EX Sandstorm is the second to last. Here we go. Man. A roller coaster. And we're not even at the Wizard of the Coast era. So many good pulls, it's been nuts. Okay, so I don't wanna like if we get a if we get an EX. Oh my god, does that mean there's an EX in here? Does that mean there's an EX in here? Okay, let's go. Lilip. non hollow rare. Oh my god. Oh my god. Skitty the kitty cat in here. I can't get too ahead of myself. That's a cool looking not to though. Um with the Zatu in the sky. Bro, does that mean we have a does that mean we have an EX back here? I could be completely wrong. Nuzleaf. Oh, I'm completely wrong. Oh ladies and gentlemen. This is the final set from the EX era. EX Ruby Sapphire. This is basically the base set. It's not called base. But it's, it's base set for, for the EX era. Um, yeah, this is the set that Pokemon took over. Uh, and anything older than this is going to be Wizards of the Coast era. Okay. It's definitely been a ride. It's definitely the EX. It's been the, been the craziest. Ride. Dude, I keep doing it. Okay. Weezing Reverse. I think that's the standard, actually. And then the rare. That, that's the rare. Meta OMG. Um, that Weezing sick, though. But okay. Torchic, nice. Zigzagoon. There, I guess there could still be an EX back here. Welmer. Oh, not in this one. Lady outing. This could be the biggest moments of this video. We're finally at the Wizards of the Coast era. And I just want to remind you guys, I'm giving away $2,000 of sealed vintage booster packs. To enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, down below in the comment section, let me know what your favorite set is. And we're starting with the Babanger. We have Skyridge, um, one of the most expensive sets ever made. I think this is like $1,200 or something crazy. Um, we're going in, man. The last set that Wizards of the Coast ever made. The Crystal Charizard could be pulled out of here. Um, and this set was cut short. The print was cut short. We're going to go in. Here we go. Sky Ridge. Oh, my God. I'm just so overwhelmed with this. With, with the recording of this. With this everything. Ah. Uh. It's just amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm just going to do two from the back because I'm kind of, I don't even know. I never really opened Sky Ridge up. I mean, I have, but it was a long, long time ago. We got Crystal Shard. Bounce Energy. Okay, we're good. Ladybug. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to be careful. Went we'll through the whole video without dropping anything. Heracross. Heracross. Nidorina. Sand Slash. Moving into a Snubble. I think we're going to come up on the reverse. Oh, the Jolteon Rare Reverse. You can get this as a hollow as well. And our final card. Oh, it's a Zatsu non-hollow. Yo, I'm actually really happy with that one. We got one of the best reverses. That looks super, super clean. And here we have it. A Quapolis, but not only that, it's in a sealed blister. And it's just so amazing. To oh, my God. Like, this is the craziest blister of the day, easily. Actually, no second craziest we got first edition base set what am i talking about but like literally the only way to open this one up is how these were sealed is you you have to rip this open this is like the safest blister you could ever buy um like you can't just pull this part out you actually have to destroy it i'm so sorry i'm so sorry uh uh it's so bad oh my god okay uh, hey look this is a one-time thing okay but here we go we have the arcanine aquapolis can we get a keep looking to see if I'm recording. I'm just looking at everything. I'm looking everywhere. Here we go. 
Oh, oh, bro, bro. Don't do that to me. It's it's just a common. Thank you. It's literally just a common. I'm just going to do two from the back on that one. It's just a common. It's a common. We've got baby Pokemon to start off here. We got Healing Berry. There's the mime. Get out of my face, though. We don't need you. Execute. Grimer. Magnemite. Aquapolis, baby. Let's go, Chansey. Marowak. Reverse. Uncommon. And the rare is a Houndoom, but it's a non hollow. That's all right. Next up, we have Expedition E Series. So, this is basically the base set of the E Series. There is just ridiculous. It's just, it's just ridiculous what you could pull in here. Um, just so much good stuff. It's, it's crazy. It's like the best combo of Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon. Look at that. We got Squirtle in the front there. Um, let me just get right into this one. So, I think it's three. Oh my. I'm just going to do two. I don't know. I'm just going to do two. Power Charge. We got Pokemon Reversal, Squirtle, so the start basically of the E-Series. Spearow, we got Cubone, Magikarp, like, look at these artworks, Vulpix, Machoke Reverse, okay, okay, let's follow it up. Oh, Clefable, non-hollow on that one. I actually did the pack trick right. We're moving to a set, you guys might know this one, you might not, it's Legendary Collection and it has the best reverse cards, in my opinion, some people don't like them, I love them. But this right here is a, such an old school price. The Entertainer, I guess, is a store. I have no idea. But, yo, we're going in one of the most expensive booster packs ever made. I think it's easily over $1,000 for this one. So let's cut into this. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh, my God. I already see something. Uh, let's just go straight through it. Oh, yeah, because I don't know. The pack trick's so weird on these ones. We got a Cedra. We got a Voltorb. I mean, the list of stuff goes on and on with this set. We got Bill. We got Magikarp. So you can get duplicates. Like, there we go. Oh, wait. No, actually, it's not a duplicate. You can get duplicates from these ones. We got Psyduck. We got Golduck. We got Psyduck again. Okay, so there's our duplicate. They're used, they're made for, for playing the game. We got a Seal. I think the Rare is actually next, and the Reverse is usually last. The Rare is a Pokemon Trader. That one's terrible. All right, we need a really good reverse. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a banger. Let's go, baby. Alakazam. Oh, that's a rare reverse. Bro, literally number one in the set out of 110. Yo. See, that's what I'm talking about. Do you guys like that or not? Let me know. I, I think it's cool. It's got the fireworks pattern on it. And by the way, I just realized this is the most valuable card we've pulled so far today. If it were to get a PSA 10 at $1,600. That's what I'm talking about with that set. It's so crazy that we didn't even get a hollow and we got a ridiculous card. All right, next up though. <laughs> First edition Neo Destiny. Another one of the most valuable, most expensive packs ever. Um, and again... All first edition. We're moving into first edition now. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, if it ever had a first edition print run, I'm opening the first edition version. And literally almost every single pack from here on out is first edition. Besides base two, which never was printed first edition. But here we go. Neo Destiny. Whew. Shining Charizard, baby. Come on. Shining Charizard. Here we go. Okay. Um, a pack trick is probably weird on this one, too. Neo Destiny. This is easily over $1,000 for a pack of this in first edition. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna do one from the back. I'm super nervous. I hope that's not the rare. That has a little bit of a little something. Um, okay, starting off with a chance. He has an uncommon. Oh my god, first edition. Cyndaquil, yo. We got Larvitar. Um, out of the Neo sets, this is to a lot of people the number one set. Just because of the shinings. It's got the coolest shinings. There's so many. Mewtwo shiny. If I can get one shiny, that would be nuts. Slugma. A chop. It's already been a crazy, 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 crazy opening. Ghastly. Broken Ground Gym. Pokemon Personality Test. Unknown. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, I passed it. It's the Broken Ground Gym. That's all right. It happens. Now, this is actually my personal favorite from the Neo era. It's Neo Revelation because it has my all-time favorite card. The Shining Gyarados. There's also Shiny Magikarp, Suicune, Entei, Raikou. So much. <laughs> this is just crazy. Uh, right now, we're just in, in crazy town. All right. Let's go. Neo Rev. Um, another set where the hack trick's probably weird. You know, I don't want to mess it up. I'll just I'll just do like... I'll do two from the back. I'll do two from the back. Well, these cards look good. Okay. We have a Jinx. That's an uncommon. It's kind of creepy. Balloon Berry. We got Zubat. Farfetch. We got Swinup Swinup. Quagsire, Slugma, 
Old Ron, come on, let's catch the fish. Smooch him, let's get something crazy. Entei, is that, that's the rare, oh, it's the rare healing field, no. Up next, we have Neo Discovery, and this one is also amazing. All the Neo sets are amazing. Um, Yeah, Neo is like, I, I missed those as a kid. I, did, I, I was still playing the games, but I wasn't really doing the cards. When I came back into Pokemon cards back in like 2015, and I started collecting the Neo sets, I was just like blown away. Uh, because I love Gen 2, and seeing these cards for the first time was amazing, and pulling them. Uh, we got Unknown, we got Hitmontop, Pineco. Just super grateful to be able to do this right now. Like, I just can't believe this is actually happening. Weedle, Mareep, all first edition, like I said. Got the baby Pokemon action there. Spinarak, Poliwag. Let's get us an Umbreon Hollow. We got an Eevee. Oh, and a Fossil Egg, and I literally did it again. This is like literally the second card that I showed. Hit my top was the rare. Now, this is the first ever printing of Generation 2 in first edition. It's Neo Genesis, and um... <sighs> Well, if we pulled a Lugia Hollow out of here, I'd probably lose my mind. That would be the best pull of the day. Um, it's one of the best pulls, period, that you can have a, out of a pack, any pack. And if you somehow got it in a PSA 10, I'm just going to do one from the back. I really don't want to mess this up again. It would be ridiculous. We have a Slowpoke. We have a Fighting Energy. Energy Charge. Uh, we have a Goldberry. Oh my gosh, it was right there. Patricks are so weird on these Neo sets. I got another. Oh, we struck out big time on uh, on the Neo sets. That's all right. Chikorita, Mantine, and oh, we got the Pikachu though. We're almost into the original, original Pokemon cards. We have the Gym series next, and this is going to be Gym Challenge. There's only two Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. This was the second one. You can get Blaine's Charizard out of here though. Whoa, I opened that pack up so weird. Oh no, I totally. Oh no. Wow, okay, I'm just messing up big time on this one. Okay, I don't know what happened on that one. That one was, that one definitely, okay, I think we're good. Um, oh, it's another one with a weird pack trick. I'm gonna go through, sometimes it's like the rare is in the beginning, sometimes it's like in the middle, sometimes it's at the, I don't know, we're just gonna go through it. Okay, Diglett, it might be at the end on this one. See all the, uh, the commons are coming up. We got Misty Star You. It's in the middle, it's a rocket dude. let's go baby! Yo, okay, we're coming back now from the Wizard of the Coast era. Hello. Oh my god. Yo, Misty's Dugong. Yes. Oh, and we got the Bulbasaur. I love that Bulbasaur artwork. Dude, okay, we're coming back. Wizards of the Coast, baby. Look at that. Fun fact on this card as well, the Hollow is the, like, slimmest one, I believe, up to that point. Like, the first time they ever did that. That's a Rocket's Mewtwo. And this is actually officially the second most valuable card we pulled today. Um, right under the Reverse Alexander from Legendary Collection, if it did get a 10. All right. And then the last gym set here is Gym Heroes. And we got Misty on the front here. I think we're coming back now. I'm feeling better. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling good now. Like, that that was... The Neo sets were kind of like a little... Yeah, we didn't do good on those. Oh, I forget, I forget, I forget. These are weird. Maybe two, maybe two, maybe not. Erica's Oddish, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. I think that might have been it. Maybe three, though. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're coming back now. Abra, Misty's Goldeen, Charmander. Uh, talk about a roller coaster. This is literally the definition of a roller coaster. Erica's Bear. That's uh, that's the hollow. That or the, not the hollow. The, the non hollow rare. That's all right. And then Eradicate. All right, now we're officially into the original era of Pokemon. I'm just gonna give you guys the rundown. We got first edition Rocket, base set two, first edition Fossil, first edition Jungle. <laughs> oh my God, bro! We're gonna open that up. We're gonna open that first edition base. <laughs> we're really gonna open that. First edition base set, Blister. Okay. First edition rocket to start off here. Can we get a Dark Charizard? Can we do it? All right. Um, should be three. Should be three, definitely. I think pretty much all these should be three, except for base two. Dark Charmeleon. Again, all first edition. We're not messing around here, okay? All first edition. First edition was only available at Wizard of the Coast era, though, but, uh, and Neo Genesis and earlier. But, dude, we're crushing it. Squirtle. Sleep. This has some of the best non hollows from um, some of the Wizards of the Coast era. Ponyta. Oh, 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 oh my god. Dark Charizard. It's a non hollow, but it's such a good pull, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Trust me. I will take that. Imagine a non hollow rare being worth $650 in a PSA 10. That's crazy. That's got to be the most valuable non hollow rare that we pulled today. All right, moving on, we have base set two. So this was like kind of like a reprint of Fossil and Jungle. Um, there was not a first edition version of this because it was basically supposed to be a reprint. Um, it's uh, it's a cool set, but like, you know, I mean, you get Charizard, Blastoise, Venus, or all that cool stuff. Um, some really nice jungle cards. I'm just trying to remember. I think the rare is sometimes in the back. Sometimes it's the second or third card in, though. 
Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Ivysaur, Sandshrew, or it could just be three from the back. There's so many different versions of the base set, too. Charmander, so like, see, you got Jungle, you got base set, you got Drowsy base set, Diglett. Oh my god, we're crushing it right now! Venusaur base two, while it was three from the back, or two from the back, actually. Yo, let's go, man. I, this is so nuts. The amount of luck that we're getting on some of these packs today. Like, literally the craziest roller coaster. Oh, we got a starter base two. Venusaur, that looks clean. The nerves are really kicking in right now because we're only a few packs away from the final pack. The $7,000 first edition base set booster pack in a blister. We got first edition Fossil coming up next here. We're making a great comeback, I gotta say, on the uh, Wizard of the Coast era. Start off, mm, start off like pretty decent, then it got bad. Now it's really good. Uh, we're just gonna do three in the back. All right, Fossil, 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 Dragonite. That's what I want. Kingler. Sandslash. Amistar. Mysterious Fossil. Amina. I think after the video, I'm literally just gonna sit here and just look through all the cards. It's been crazy. Like, Zubat, Slowpoke, Shelter. Oh, we did it! Haunts are hollow again with the hollow pulls! I just don't know. I mean, I hope we're still saving luck for the base set pack, but this is nuts! I love Haunter. I love that they put Haunter in here. This card's actually super easy to grade. Um, usually, you have a high chance of getting a 10 on this card in particular because you can't really see any da like print lines if it even had any. Dude, super cool card. Guys, I'm starting to really shake right now. I'm getting, so, like, I'm just getting super, uh, just hyped for this first edition base pack coming up after this jungle set is base set. All right, second set ever released by Pokemon. First edition stamp, Scyther. This is jungle. We're going to the jungle. Oh, I got butterflies. I got butterfreeze in my stomach. Maybe some Venonats. I'm, I'm so nervous for the base pack. Like, oh. It's, it's wild, man. It's, wi it's a wild feeling. Rapidash, Lickitung, Primeape. Come on. Let's just keep the luck rolling. Cubone. We got Mankey. I can't believe we're almost there. We got Pikachu first edition. Imagine if that was this, the, the Ivy Pikachu that we've been looking for forever. We got a Venonat. An Eevee. I thought we were there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, bitch. got another hollow, bro. Was that three in a, three in a row? Dude, hold, dude, we gotta keep the luck going. Oh my god, we gotta keep the luck going for the first set base pack. This is the big moment right now. A first edition base set blister pack. If I, I can't even begin to tell you how nervous I am. There's of course the potential to pull the first edition base set Charizard card. The most expensive card, the, the just the number one card that you could ever pull from a booster pack any booster pack ever made. It's really hard to say. I haven't been following the prices on the Charizard, but I, I think it's like a $200,000 card in a PSA 10. That is like oh, the best case scenario of all best case scenarios. All right, there's no going back. It's time. Let's do this. Oh man, you, yeah, you have to, you just have to, you have to rip it. You have to rip it open. All right, we're getting a good, good opening here from the side. Oh man. This is it. This is the pack of all packs right now. Venusaur, first edition, base set, 1999 booster pack. First set stamp there. Trading card on the bottom, three cards, 11 tradable card game. This is it. This is where it all started. This is where we're going to end this video. Here we go. Okay. So, we're going to take three cards from the back. One, two, three. To the front. Here we go. First ad, baby. Revive. Nidorino. God, oh my god. Get down for a nice pull. All right, that's a nice pull. All right, we got our energy. Star me look like it looks like we might have a slight gray stamp. It's hard to tell on camera. It definitely looks a little gray. We got Ponyta. Oh God, can we get a hollow? We got fighting energy. We got a coughing, shadowless everything. This is like this is the peak. Oh my god. Oh Pikachu first head! It's the yellow cheeks version. That's fine though. Red cheeks would have been amazing. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't duo! These definitely look a little gray stamped. Dragonair is the rare pulling out a non-hollow from our first end base set. Oh my god, that's okay. 
That was insane! Like, we literally just opened up every single pack of Pokemon cards in first edition. But that is gonna do it. Thank you guys again for 1 million subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Also, feel free to click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.